Hi there. This is a, a quick screencast um, about how to crop an image. And in this case, we're going to use the free uh, so image software called GIMP, uh, the GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's a free download, but it does uh, run off of your desktop. It's not an online tool. Um, and it's a very high featured uh, uh, piece of software. You can do an awful lot with it. Um, uh, but uh, we're just going to crop an image for this uh, screencast. So the first thing I'm going to do, I've got GIMP open and I'm going to open an image. And so we've got a fairly high resolution picture. Uh, but the uh, subject of the picture is kind of small within the larger image and we may want to focus in more on say the people in the canoe. So over here on the side in the toolbox, and if you don't have the toolbox open under Windows you can select toolbox. So I'm going to go to the toolbox and I'm going to find the, um, the cropping tool. Select that and then I'm going to come over here to the image and I'm going to select a crop around it. So when you're cropping an image you want to think about uh, how you're going to be using that image. If you're going to be very utilitarian you're going to be uh, labeling it it's going to be some kind of plan form perhaps of a canoe with, la with labels and all that sort of stuff then you probably want a very centered image. If you still want to use it more to depict the meaning of the original image, then you want to remember things like a little bit more space in the direction that the movement seems to be happening. Um, a little bit of space above and around is a good idea. In GIMP, as you do this, you can also see at the bottom that you are getting uh, the number of pixels that you're cropping it to. So if that's important, you can also edit things like that. And once you've done your box, you can also then move uh, single sides of that box. To crop it, we just click in the middle, and now we have the cropped version of the image. The final step that you want to be sure to do before you move out of here is, first of all, you might save this as a project. If you thought you were going to come back and you're going to change that crop, you have the ability to use uh, uh, undo, etc. If you don't think you're going to save it, um, then all you need to do is export this version. And you should give it a new name. And you'll be asked about a quality level. Usually the defaults are going to be fine. There, and so now we have a saved, a cropped version of this image that brings the focus, or what we want our image to focus on, uh, much more uh, forward in this new version.